Does your droid incredible look like this? I mean, it, sometimes if you just drop these things, they shatter. And this can be devastating if you're still underneath the contract. You might think your phone's ruined, but you can repair it. And since there doesn't seem to be any good repair guides on YouTube, I decided to make a little bit more of a detailed one. I'm going to do this one from start to finish. First thing you have to do is take the back cover off, which I've already done. And then if you've already bought your screen replacement, they will give you tools, a uh, hex head, and a uh, Phillips screwdriver, along with this pry tool, plastic, supposed to be good to not tear stuff up like maybe a knife would. So these screws here are hex head screws. You're going to remove these first. Technically you could take the battery out first. It doesn't really matter. You need to make sure you don't lose the screws. I, uh, I suggest you get a magnet to set them on to. Keep the magnet away from the phone though. Be here some hairs being stubborn. Okay. We'll get my magnet. Let's set it over here. All right. Now you're going to use your little tool to battery out. Set it off to the side. Now these little plastic tabs right in here there's that one there's this one this one you're going to gently pry back on those to uh, release the orange part from the phone be careful because you can break these this does take a little bit of time to do Just take your time don't go too fast I have broke some of these tabs off for and it don't really matter if you break one tab off because the phone will stay together. Push them back together. Once you get them removed, you want to gently pry. If one's still jammed, just use your tool to help remove it so they can pop back in place as you pry around I got some hair at the front, they didn't come put it undone a little bit of force on to it and they come right up Now, be careful up here, this top one here will kind of stick. You don't want to rip it. It's got to kind of mess with it. It comes out. Now, you're at the second stage. Now, the second stage, you're going to have just two screws to remove. You're going to need your Phillips screwdriver. There's one here, and there's one here. So, you can go ahead and remove those now. Put that on your magnet. The magnet just helps keep them from rolling away. They're very tiny, they can get lost. Alright, now, there are four of these ribbon strips. 
and you're going to have to remove them. And this one here has got some sort of little rubbery thing on to it, which is going to have to be removed gently. Peeled back. I'm not really sure what it's on there for. Be careful with that. It's kind of in the way to get to your tab and all that. You have to take the, the yellow tape off of them. Now I used I used this. You be very careful with these. You don't want to rip any of these ribbon cables. You'll be in a pickle if you do that. This one here is going to be a little harder. But nothing to get underneath. Hmm. This one here is probably going to be a little more exciting. I use the screwdriver maybe. It's a little more rough to peel it up with. Okay. Nope, ain't got enough yet. I'm doing this in real time to help show just what it takes to get this thing back together. Very careful with doing that because you're gonna mess that up good. Being real stubborn. Alright, that's peeled away. Now, these little clips, you have black tabs on all these things. Make sure you get them the right direction. Like, for instance, this one here. It goes up. You're going to be very careful with it. Just kind of pick at it like that. And see, it'll, it'll come up real easy. And then your tab's free. And you can use your tool to pry it out with. This one here, it's going to go down. Oh, wait. So I'm going to go up to you. There you go. If they don't come up easy, you're doing it the wrong direction. Then you just use your tool and pry at the edge of this. Which technically I'm going to leave that one until last. That one can come off of the board. This one here on the other side comes out easier. Too bad. And these here, you just go up on their tabs, wink. Okay. And you get them out. This here, you can want to do this. And then just gently take it out, set that off to the side. That's your touch pad. And then you're going to do this one too. Then now that you've got all that done, you're going to lift up on the board. Gently, because this one here is still attached. Which we're going to lift on the opposite side of the board and pull it outward so that little thing will just fall out. Because that one's really hard to get in and out. See, when you just go up, this little tab will just come right out. Really. Get out of the way. Now your board is off and you are on to step three. Okay, the next step is going to be a little bit more difficult. You've got two screws 
and you can go ahead and take them out first with your Phillips screwdriver. Put them on your magnet. This is the LCD right here, and it is actually sort of got glue behind it. It's uh, actually double stick take tape. Sorry, that they use to take both this and this to hold it in the frame and the tape is extremely sticky and you're going to have to use either this tool or your fingernail to remove it and it, it's it's difficult as all get out it's not a lot of fun and you think you might actually break the LCD from all the popping sounds you hear but you do have to be careful kind of work your way around the edge all the way around it and then once you get enough of the glue like unstuck from it you're going to be able to peel it up easier just kind of pry back on the frame it's actually quite durable the frame is and just stick your tool in there pry it a little bit So you get it free. Now I'm not going to show all this on the video. I'm just going to give an example. You can use your fingernail, and you I mean it's it's in there good. Because once you get it free from the tape, it's going to uh, it's going to fall out of there pretty well. You just got to go around. So you get the idea there. Alright, so we're going to once I get this free, we're going to go on to step four. Okay, now that you've got the LCD removed and it is in perfect condition, it may have made a lot of popping sounds, but that's normal. It's actually stronger than you would expect it to be. You have left the frame with your broken glass, and surprisingly, this stuff is ridiculously strong. You think that this stuff would just shatter and fall apart, but it does not. Now this is the part where most how-to videos leave out. Getting the glass off the frame. Now you could buy the frame if you wanted to, and just buy the glass too. But if you want to save money because the frame is rather expensive, you're going to want to get the glass out yourself. Now you don't need to get a hammer and bust this out, because that's just not going to work. Uh, what I did... I, I I tried several things. One thing I tried was sticking glass over a warm oven, the stove top. Uh, that didn't work because I was too scared I was going to melt the plastic. So I went and got a hair dryer and I heated up around the edge where the, the tape is, which this is what held the LCD in. You're going to want to remove all this. All this tape. It goes all on the outside edge, and you want to scrape all down through here with like a knife to get it down to the aluminum before you stick the new one in there. And then what I did is I got the hair dryer, and I actually this is what you need to do on this side. And I heat this thing up all the way around the edge, and I kind of just heat up one edge mainly. I heat up the whole thing, but I heat up one edge, and I work on one edge at a time, and just kind of got my tool and went in there but really the tool is kind of too thick so I used my fingernail and just kind of got in there and pushed from the back side now I don't know if this glass will ever shatter and get in your fingers but it might be best if you're pushing like I like I do to wear gloves uh, and once you get it hot you just kind of go in there and you kind of pull against a prying motion and push up from the bottom and just keep working at it you can use the tool to kind of slide down through there and uh, or a butter knife might do it just something skinny and strong and uh, just pry onto it and you'd be surprised at this glass I mean I, I, I pried until it actually shattered right here at the bottom and this whole section here was left and it's probably going to do that again because you pry from the top and uh, when you use a hair dryer you need to get this thing like almost so hot you can't hang on to it the whole section it's it, it just you get really hot and uh... 
after a few minutes of that, the, the glue on the double stick tape will get pliable and you can remove your glass section. So I don't really have to show you that on video, but you get the idea. If you rip it and this whole section here is left, you're going to need to get a knife like I did and you're going to need to pry out every last little piece of that. But be careful because you've got these heat sensitive buttons that you can mess up by using a knife and prying. So that's how you do that. You definitely want to use a hair dryer. But be careful, the frame is plastic, so I wouldn't pry too hard, but you can do it. Just push up from the bottom while you're prying. You should get that out. Okay, now that you've got all the glass off, which is loads of fun, that probably took me about 40 minutes to do. And you had to probably, if you're like me, you had to dig all the glass off on the bottom with a knife. You gotta be careful with these things. Hopefully you didn't rip any of those. Uh, you need to get this section here and this section here pretty clean with glue residue. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, you have to get prepared to put new glass in and that is going to be in my second video. So stay tuned for part two.